do a button check every single set, even if his controller isn't even unplugged. But for game one, they're going to be starting off on Final Destination. What do you think has the advantage here? On FD? Character wise, yeah. I would say Binky. But player wise, uh, Dill might be a little bit more experienced. Um, just like in general, he's kind of like always been uh, in this matchup, kind of just like on top. Uh, I don't know how much it played in this character uh, matchup because like a lot of it was a lot of uh, Bankai being Pokemon trainer yeah. and <sighs> that matchup. But uh <laughs> oh my god, that was that was a Smash Four thing right there. I just saw falling up and up and up and that was really cool to look at. Uh, and of course, landing with neutral air, that is relatively safe, but Dale is still going to be able to find the grab afterwards. Bankai didn't do out another input, um, so he has to be really wary of that. Yeah, like when you throw out a safe move, you still have to like position yourself safely. Yeah. You know? Just because a move is safe on somebody's shield, like if you're doing the same thing every single time after you hit somebody's shield, like you're going to get punished for it. But wow, the forward is actually going under and beating the side to be really interesting. I love the patience for Bill, but he's gonna get blown up for it. All right, so Dill was able to take that first stock, but Bankai was able to immediately just retort and say, "Nah, we're playing a two-stock match. It's okay. Remember Smash Four? <laughs> um, really great up smash. That up smash is so good. It like scoops under the stage. It just converts into so many different moves that DSS has that you can like on reaction. <gasps> I thought that was a spike for the second. Really great landing from Bankai, I love that, just like not even going to hit Dill's shield at all. Well, that time around, maybe it's a little bit different. Okay, I'm not gonna hold you guys, I cannot stand this music. It's like, uh, pretty yeah. bad, yeah. It is definitely throwing me off with the down smash into up B. So good from Bankai, and honestly, down smash is like such a low commitment vibe, vibe chat, because if you get hit... Uh oh. Okay, Dill came back. But like, down smash, it comes out so quickly. That doesn't come out quickly, it doesn't have like a whole lot of end lag. So you can throw it out relatively quickly. Um, yeah. I was thinking that shield is so good in this game. For like a lot of characters. Oh my god, this is like the most dangerous situation to be in between a Rob down tilting and a gyro. There's yeah. just like so many different like high percent damage setups to be had there. And honestly, this, the set is like completely even. I'm surprised that Dill was able to actually spot dodge after the zero. We want to maybe see Bankai like delay um, the grab afterwards, just for a little tick. Really, really smart of him not to go in there because that would have surely been a gyro into up smash or something like that. He tried it, he tried it. Got her the respect. He tried to get a little bit mixy with it. Um, and F tilt, you know, just like maybe creating a little bit of space. Such a strong commitment from Bankai just to down B in front of Dill like that. And he's doing it again. I really want to see Dill maybe get under Bankai a little bit and just like punish that vertically. Ooh, the movement. We're just scrapping. Oh my god, he almost jumped right into it. So smart of him not to drift and pull the stage all the way. Really, nice. really great tech chase. You think if he up smash, it would work? I... Oh, never mind. <laughs> you got it. Okay, the pacing in that set combined with the music was so... Just, I feel like the best way to describe it is just like uncomfortable. That set was uncomfortable to watch. Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna need to start doing music strikes on stages for sure. Like, <laughs> that, that one's gonna get a definite ban. Oh, they're running it back to FD? No, we're going back. Please, let's pick a different song. Please, 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 please. I don't think they picked the song. I think it's just random right now. Ugh. It might just repeat the song, TBH. Yeah. But... Regardless, going into game two, I feel like Bankai has to be so careful about the way that he's playing around Dill's shield. More often than not, every single time that he touched Dill's shield, he 
got a punish. He killed him for it. It wasn't even just a punish. He got like a soft back hit. He got an up smash. So maybe Baka just like needs to make sure that his positioning is a little bit more careful. So right, right, off the, of music. <laughs> right off the bat, you're just going to see Dill getting the trip with the down tilt and able to connect um, you know, dash attack off of it. Yeah. This is the punish. And here's the thing, like, with Zeros and Ultimate in general, like, sure they're really good and they cover just, like, all of the space, yeah. but there's such a commitment that is so punishable. So, Bankai had the lead that Dill was going to be able to, like, to air dodge down the lead, but he was just facing the wrong way, and thus he got a little blown up for it. So smart of Bankai just to like space out of Zero instead of drifting in, because that would have been that would have led to him just getting killed by uh, back in. I thought that would have been a nail down beat, but maybe he's a, maybe Bankai knows that he's out of the percent range for that. What? That hits? What did I just see? Oh. Why? He was dead. Bankai. No. I mean, he really couldn't do anything. He could have dodged maybe. I'm just like, I mean, honestly, you do see, like, Ziggis and Samus' go through down smash on stage, nice. like, to two frame a whole lot, but I've just never seen it connect like that before. It's so calm. I feel like, I feel like the snow theme, like, really Okay. Dill's just not going to punish that up B. Maybe he was trying to cover the cross up. Regardless, that is going to be, I believe that was the down B. Yeah, with um, up smash, that is such an active hitbox. You cannot challenge that at all. Bakai almost landing the neutral air down B, which would have certainly taken the stock, yeah. but that is going to be it. You know, with a character as like heavy as Rob, oh my god, there we go. Man, no air dodging twice like that? I feel like Bankai could have. Oh yeah. my god. Dang. It's a statement. <laughs> okay. Bankai getting two down B kills with a spike. And Rob is such a big body. And he recovers vertically. Like, I don't want to say he has a bad recovery. But he does recover really slowly. And I feel like the angle can be a little bit predictable sometimes. So, the time that he caught him the first time with the down B. Like, the down, the down B just covers so much. And then the second time, like... If you get hit with a falling neutral layer at that percent, you have to hold it, which it's like it's like whatever. There's, there isn't that much that you can do about it. But yeah, game three. I feel like, man, the, again, like the pacing of the set is so weird. Where Bankai won, like. From winning one neutral interaction, he got the stock. While the rest of the set, it's just like, like still dominating and just like taking it really, really slowly. So I have no idea where this set is gonna go, like at all. Kalos. How do you feel about Kalos? Kalos mm. is interesting. I feel like Rob really benefits from Kalos. Uh, you know, just like having that extra platform on top. They're just so good for Rob in terms of recovery mix up. But I feel oh. like. Hmm, really interesting choice just to retreat and give up stage control right from the beginning. He was uh, trying to get his earbud into his ear. Yeah. So he was not ready for it. Yeah. I was just like watching him. Wasn't sure if they were going to restart the match or not. But I guess he got in just in time. Yeah. And all it cost him was stage neutral. And 56% really because important. he lost one last shot. That was a good parry. Oh, man. I like the commitment to Uppy, but I don't even think that would have killed Rob on Kalos. Um, yeah. Oh my god, that was so good from Bankai. He just like tapped into Dill's rhythm, like knowing that one of Dill's favorite things to do is just like land with neutral like, on your shield from ledge. And he was able to get the parry punish. Nail is, of course, so safe on shield, but when parried against an Uppy out of shield, absolutely not.
Wow. That traded? Okay, that's fine. Really, really good patience from Dildo. Just timing it perfectly. The up smash, again, like, doesn't have all that much end lag. So that just, like, takes a little bit more finesse and precision than one would think. Down through into up tilt. Good punish. Uh, you you know, always gotta punish those side Bs. I didn't even know that he could bounce off of the edge of the stage like that. That was a little funky. I like the movement. Yeah, like, Kalos just... When you have a lob under the platform on Kalos, he can cover really, really easily with back hit as well. Because the hitbox on back hit was massive. Without a second jump and without down B, so difficult for Zero Suit to recover. And now both of these players are just like kind of taking like a hit after hit. Nobody's really getting anything too big off. Both of them like making sure to play really patiently. I like the charge up smash instead of an up B because he wasn't sure if Dill was going to be able to mash out of it or not. Yeah. So I like the idea there. Really nicely spaced there today. Shield poke. Especially when your shield is running thin, I feel like even at the highest level of play, That's people don't make laser. use of shield tilts all that well. Really beautiful neutral B, as you just said. From Dome. I like the idea, I like the intention, but if he was just spaced a little bit farther back, Rob might have been big enough to be hit by the up smash. In that 50% he got earlier, it was just a bunch of uh, Zerosu Sandwich just holding in. And I feel like holding in against Rob is like not the best idea. It's a dangerous commitment for sure. Oh my god, and had Bokai tech that falling out of it, yep, because he was on the other side of it. The shield broke. Did he drop shield or is it just. Maybe Dill wasn't expecting for it to last as long because he was a little bit taken aback by it. Yeah. Not totally sure what happened there. Baka is going to try to get something started, but that is going to be the down throw into up air. Nicely timed air dodge. This is so difficult right now. Coming back against Rob, but Zero Suit being no stranger to really good um, landing options. And that this should be back here. Yeah. Back throw? Oh. Okay, yeah, I thought so. I was like, there's no way Rob has a back throw. Wow, the and the neutral is not killing off the top quite yet either. With four air does, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Bakai got punished for over committing to flip kicks a little too much. Um, not much else to say there. I feel like that game was just like really, really back and forth between the two players. Really unfortunate that Bakai lost the lead, but that's, you know, that's the way it goes.